Okay guys, so what I'm going to show here today in this video are the block differences between the 3.5 liter LX9 and the 3.5 or the 3.9 of the LZ4 or the LZ9. So obviously a um, couple things that are different right off the bat are the bosses on these engines. So if you look, there's a boss here on the LX9, but it's not there on the LZ9. On the LX9, you can see that the block has these pins, these locator pins for the timing cover. Now, there are holes in the LZ9 for the timing cover, but the, the locating dowels are actually in the timing cover itself. So instead of being in the block, they're in the timing cover. The LX9, just like with all the older blocks, have two mounting bosses here for the front engine mount. Over here on the LZ9, there's only one. So if you're going to try to maybe use your alternator here, the alternator bracket, like on a Fiero, that uses this factory upper bolt hole here, it's not there on that. So you probably can't use this. The oil galley on the LX9 on this side here is smaller than on the LZ9. It's a smaller plug. So other than that, there's just a couple of other little small differences. Just the bosses on the outside of the block. They're mostly the same from LZ9 to LX9. They're mostly the same. There's some in different locations here and there, but Another big thing that's different is on the LX9, you got this oil port up here to, um, you know, to feed like an external oil sensor or something. And on the LZ9, it's not there. So you're going to have to get it, feed it from a different location. So, but you know, these bosses up here, they're a little different. You know, there's a couple extra ones maybe on here in a slightly different location than on the LX9 over here, but I'm assuming it had to do with, you know, maybe alternator placement or AC compressor placement or things like that for the bosses up here on the front of the engine. So, also, there's a difference here. On the LX9, you'll notice that there is no oil galley down here. But on the LZ9, you have an oil galley here that actually runs to the outside of the block. So you can see that there's an oil galley here on the LX9, but it doesn't run to the outside of the block, whereas this one does. You got a pipe plug here, and then you have a pipe plug here. So just some slight differences there in the front of the timing area where the timing cover goes. So, but other than that, they're pretty much the same. So what I'm working on now is I'm getting this camshaft out. So this is what holds the camshaft in and these roller cam blocks. You just have a plate on the front here. And these are T30 Torx screws. So I've already broken them loose. And that just comes out like so. And then you can pull the camshaft out. And that's what holds the camshaft in and keeps it located where it needs to be. So on the hydraulic flat tappets, the tappets are ground in such a way to keep the camshaft where it needs to be. So with a roller, that's not on there. So you got to use this. I guess it would be a thrust plate on the front. So... Uh, all right, guys, that's it. Um, well, actually, there's one other little thing I just noticed. So here you can see this goes into the lifter valley, and you've got a camshaft position sensor right here. And on this LZ9 block, it's closed off there. There's still a sensor opening here, but you can't see it from the front, or you can see it in the front on the LX9. So, all right, guys, that was it for this video just to show some quick differences and similarities between these two blocks. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks, guys.